Crystal of CrystalSoulsAndStuff.com. Welcome back to the channel today. So today I wanted to share with you my review of the Lo Love Notion Sloan Sweater. So this is a cute top pattern designed for knit fabrics and it comes in sizes extra small all the way up to 5X and that's for bust sizes of 33 to 57 and a half inches and hip sizes of 35 and a half inches to 59 and a half inches. So it is a long sleeve pattern with um, cuff details and different uh, and some other design elements. So there are two main versions. There's the uh, view A, which is uh, has a looser style and then a curved hemline, and then there's view B, which I sew, which has a more boxy style and then a hemband. But I didn't do the hemband for my version. So I'll get to that in a minute. So um, there are also versions. You can also add an elbow patch. You can also add an optional yoke. You can also do a hood or a regular neck band. So there are several options for this pattern. And again, like I said, there's also an option for a hem band. So several options in a kangaroo pocket as well. So a lot of options for you to um, choose from for this pattern. So I decided to do uh, View B, which is the more boxy style. And I was gonna add a hemband, but when I cut it out, I cut it out in the wrong direction so it wouldn't go around the bottom. So I just left it off because I didn't have enough fabric to cut it out again. So um, that's what I decided to do. And I still like the way it came out. It's still it's a, it's a boxier style, but this fabric that I use is still loose. So it still gives me a lot of wiggle room. So I really like how that turned out. And so I sewed a size medium and um, only, the only change that I made is I brought it up uh, like an inch and a half at the shortening lifting line for the front and the back. So those are the only changes that I made and I decided to go with the optional hood option and I love how it turned out. Um, it's just so cute with the hood. So the fabric that I use is this uh, this print is a Nicole Miller print from Joanne's, and I've had it for a couple years now. So, um, so I bought it in the remnant section. So I only had one yard of it left, and then the black fabric is from Joanne's. As it might be, I'm not sure where I got. It. I think it's from Fabric Mart, and I only had a little bit of scraps for it. It's starting to rain. <laughs> uh, a little bit of fabric fabric scraps for it, and so I decided to um, do the sleeves with that, and so really cute pattern so. so for the pattern there are only few pattern pieces you have your front piece your back bodice front and back bodice piece your sleeves your cuffs cuffs as well as the optional hem band for this version you have your hood hood piece um, or you can do a um, plain neck band piece so those are all the um, options that I use so not a lot of pattern pieces so you can sew this up rather quickly <laughs> so it started pouring down raining so I decided to come back in <laughs> so I wouldn't get drenched and so it wouldn't break the camera <laughs> to go ahead and finish up my um finish up my video so I wanted to let you know that the Sloan sweater is on sale today for five dollars it's the five dollar feature pattern today from Love Notions and so it and as well as the kids version of the pattern is on sale for five dollars as well so I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box below if you want to make a purchase of these patterns. And this um, affiliate, affiliate link means that I get a small commission if you decide to make a purchase using those links. So thank you for that. So anyway, um, here are some quick pics and twirls of me on the deck before it started raining. <laughs> I'm glad I did them first. Um, so you can see um, how the pattern looks on me.
Love Notion Sloan sweater and I do hope you get a chance to check it out and if you haven't subscribed please make sure to click on the subscription button and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss so you won't miss any of my videos and stay tuned because I have a little fabric haul and a little bit of a pattern haul to share with you as well as I decided to go ahead and sew the trench coat with the um, beige cotton twill from Minerva so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you I'm almost finished with that so I'm looking forward to sharing that coat with you as well thanks to everyone who uh, who put in their discussion of um, who chimed in on what I should make with that fabric I'm really liking how it turned out if you saw I did post a little uh, uh, sneak peek on Instagram as well as in um, the community page so um, you can get a little quick sneak peek of that jacket anyway I look forward to talking to you all next time and I hope you all have a great weekend take care bye